John Fitzgerald Kennedy, the namesake of our school, was the 35th President of the United States. He left a legacy for us to honor and respect. began operation as the 125th school in Orleans Parish School System in the fall of 1966. Over 1,200 faculty, student, and staff members walked into a four-building complex that was still partially incomplete. JFK occupies 17 and a half acres on Whistler Boulevard next to the historical Bayou St. John near the lakefront. It is believed our school offers the flexibility needed to develop programs which can best meet the needs of all our students to select courses in keeping with their future educational aspirations and career plans. The physical plant consists of four separate buildings joined by covert walkways. Building A is a classroom complex and is three stories high. The administration offices, faculty work room, library, and cafeteria are occupied by building B. Industrial art workshops and ROTC are located in building C. The auditorium, gymnasium, music rooms, and physical education facilities comprise building D. Hello, welcome to John F. Kennedy Senior High School. During this program we call Legacy, we hope to show you that the mission of John F. Kennedy is to develop the minds of responsible young adults who are contributing members of today's and tomorrow's society. Our dedicated teachers ensure maximum academic achievement for all students. Through high expectations, effective planning, quality instructions, open communications, and active involvement with our parents. So join us as we show you some highlights from student life at John F. Kennedy. Kennedy is not just fun and games. We have students who have achieved high academic excellence. I would like for you to meet a few of them. Well, my favorite subject is chemistry because I feel that it's really helping me to pursue my future career in pharmacy. Drafting mainly because I would like to pursue a career in aeronautical engineering. My favorite subject is math because math is a challenging sport and I'm going into the field of pediatrician and I feel that math can help me pursue my goal of becoming a pediatrician. My favorite subject is Television One. I hope to pursue a career in communications one day. My favorite subject is algebra and math in general because I want to be a mathematics and physics pro professor at um, a college one day.
Well, I've seen a tremendous change in the last five years in, in athletics on the high school level. We don't have the numbers that we had at one time on the high school level. Uh, basically, kids are kids, normally, and they're looking for something, and looking for guidance, and they're looking for someone to lead them in the right direction. Over at Kennedy, we have a tutorial session where our kids come together after school and uh, we work on our homework assignments and stuff like that. But basically, over at Kennedy, we're doing pretty good in our, in our academics. Girls are finally getting a chance to show their skills. Uh, they've developed a lot. The te their talents is, you know, second to none. Some of the young ladies that I've seen play in the recent years can easily play on a boys' team. It's a unique feeling. Um, it's a good feeling when uh, you have about 2,000 or 3,000 people screaming and wanting you to do well. And when, you, when you're able to perform well and people come and uh, congratulate you. The most exciting thing as a team is the thrill of victory and the togetherness that football brings. Yes, do, um, you have to do your work in order to play basketball. You, got, you have to have a 2.0 average to play basketball. So I encourage all y'all to do y'all work if y'all want to get on the basketball team or anything. Here at Kennedy, we are proud of our marching band under the direction of Dr. Walter Harris. Let's listen in on a practice session. at Kennedy is the cafeteria, also known as the Cougar Cafe. Students gather there at all times of the day to share experiences which become lasting memories. I asked a few students how do they feel about the cafe and this was their response. I think the food is real good. I go there every day and eat myself because um, like my friend said, it's a place to talk and all that, but I go strictly to eat the food. <laughs> well, I don't really come in here much, but I, when I do, I just come here to socialize with people. Well, it's just a place where I can come and talk to my friends and have a good time. I love it a lot. You know, we can communicate real well in here. The acoustics are great. I love this place, especially when they're serving the food. Don't you know I'll be one of the first ones in line? <laughs> I love this place. <laughs> it's live. It's the best place to hang out in the whole school.
this is Renita Catherine Archer, and I'm sitting with Dr. Anita P. Dumas, principal of John F. Kennedy Senior High School. Thank you, Dr. Dumas. My first question is, what future plans do you have for John F. Kennedy? We have a lot of high hopes for Kennedy, and we want to make it a truly comprehensive high school. Our immediate plans are to take us into the 21st century. We want a high-tech program here, and to do that, we need the building capacity and the equipment to do that. So on the drawing board, we have, as an addition for Kennedy, over a million dollar addition, which will house our academy, plus all of the high-tech skilled areas, such as engineering, such as electricity, electronics. So hopefully in the next year and a half, we will have that kind of capacity in our building to really give the top-notch instruction that our students deserve. If you have a message for Kennedy students to better themselves, what would you say? Stop being satisfied with the status quo. This is the most critical time of your careers, your lives. Make the best of it. Uh, often our students wait too late to start getting grade point averages up. Colleges are becoming more selective. Don't box, box yourself in. And particularly to young ladies, we have to know how and be prepared to take care of ourselves and our families should there be uh, an emergency later on in life. We all should be ready and prepared.